disruptions, disorders, and diseases, understanding the impact of infectious diseases. Welcome to our channel. Today, we embark on an eye-opening journey into the realm of infectious diseases. These invisible adversaries have shaped history and continue to challenge humanity. We'll explore how they spread and, more importantly, how we can arm ourselves with knowledge to prevent their havoc. Before we explore infectious diseases, let's define some essential terms. Disruptions. Disruptions are unexpected events or changes that can cause significant disturbances in various aspects of life, from our daily routines to entire systems. Disorders. Disorders refer to any deviation from the normal functioning of a body organ or system, leading to physical or mental impairments. Diseases. Diseases encompass a wide range of health conditions, affecting various organs or systems, often leading to specific symptoms and signs. Now, let's zoom in on infectious diseases. An infectious disease is caused by pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites that invade our body, leading to illness. Once a pathogen finds its way inside, it can take advantage of our cells, replicating and spreading like an uncontrolled wildfire. The term infectious indicates that these diseases can spread from one person to another through various means. But what do we mean by epidemic, pandemic, and endemic? Epidemic. An epidemic is the rapid spread of an infectious disease in a specific geographic area, affecting a larger number of people than expected. This type of outbreak demands immediate attention and control measures. Here are three well-known examples of epidemics. Cholera outbreak in Haiti, 2010-2011. Haiti experienced a significant cholera epidemic following the devastating earthquake in 2010, leading to thousands of deaths and widespread illness. Ebola outbreak in West Africa, 2014-2016 Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone faced an epidemic of Ebola virus disease, resulting in over 11,000 deaths and causing global concern. H1N1 Influenza Outbreak, 2009-2010 The H1N1 influenza virus caused a widespread epidemic, infecting millions of people around the world and leading to a significant number of deaths. Pandemic a pandemic, on the other hand, is a global outbreak of an infectious disease that affects people on multiple continents or worldwide. Pandemics have far-reaching consequences and can be incredibly challenging to manage. Here are three well-known examples of pandemics. The Black Death, Bubonic Plague, 1347-1351 One of the most devastating pandemics in human history, affecting multiple continents and resulting in tens of millions of deaths. Spanish Flu, 1918-1919 The Spanish Flu pandemic spread globally, and caused an estimated 50 million deaths. 
COVID-19 Pandemic 2019-2023 The COVID-19 pandemic caused by the novel coronavirus SARS, COV-2, has resulted in millions of cases and deaths worldwide. Endemic now an endemic refers to the constant presence of an infectious disease within a specific geographic area or population endemics may not cause dangerous outbreaks but require consistent monitoring and control here are three well-known examples of endemic Malaria in Sub-Saharan Africa Malaria is endemic in many regions of Sub-Saharan Africa, where the disease is consistently present and causes a significant public health burden. Dengue Fever in Southeast Asia Dengue fever is endemic in various countries in Southeast Asia, with regular outbreaks and high numbers of cases. Common Cold Viruses Worldwide Various viruses causing the common cold, such as rhinoviruses and coronaviruses, are considered endemic, as they circulate widely and cause mild respiratory illnesses. Impact of Disruptions and Disorders Disruptions and disorders often arise from various sources, including infectious diseases. Two notable examples are severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, and the infamous corona disease. SARS It is an infectious disease with symptoms including fever and cough, and in some cases, progressing to pneumonia and respiratory failure. It is caused by a coronavirus. In the early 2000s, SARS caused a major disruption, leading to a severe respiratory illness outbreak. It originated in China and quickly spread to several countries. The outbreak resulted in significant socioeconomic impacts and highlighted the importance of preparedness and response to emerging infectious diseases. COVID-19 Coronavirus Disease Recently, the world witnessed the COVID-19 pandemic. It is an infectious disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Most people infected with the virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. However, some will become seriously ill and require medical attention. This pandemic brought disruptions to virtually every aspect of life, underscoring the crucial role of public health interventions and cooperation on a global scale. But what causes infectious diseases and how do they spread? And most importantly, how can we prevent them? Causes As we mentioned earlier, infectious diseases are caused by pathogens, which can enter our bodies through various means, such as contaminated food, water, or respiratory droplets. In some cases, diseases can also be transmitted through vectors like mosquitoes or ticks. Various microorganisms, such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites, have the potential to cause infectious diseases. Bacteria are one-cell organisms that cause many illnesses such as strep throat, urinary tract infections and tuberculosis. 
Viruses are not true living organisms. They are smaller than bacteria, but they cause a multitude of diseases. Fungi are organisms that cause many diseases, such as ringworm and athlete's foot. Other types of fungi can infect lungs or nervous system. Parasites are organisms that live depending on another organism and often cause harm to it. Malaria is caused by a parasite that is transmitted by a mosquito bite. Spread Infectious diseases can spread from person to person through direct contact, respiratory droplets, or contact with contaminated surfaces. Understanding these transmission routes is essential for controlling outbreaks. Understanding disease transmission Direct contact some diseases are transmitted through direct contact with infected individuals or their bodily fluids. Airborne transmission Respiratory diseases can spread through tiny droplets produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. Contaminated surfaces Pathogens can survive on surfaces, and touching these surfaces and then our faces can lead to infection. Vector-borne Certain diseases use vectors, like mosquitoes or ticks, to transfer pathogens from one host to another. Prevention The key to battling infectious diseases lies in prevention. Proactive measures can save lives and prevent widespread outbreaks. Preventing infectious diseases involves several measures. Vaccination is one of the most effective ways to protect ourselves and others. Additionally, practicing good hygiene, such as regular hand washing, and maintaining social distancing during outbreaks can significantly reduce transmission. Prevention Strategies Vaccination, vaccines are one of humanity's most significant achievements. They train our immune systems to recognize and fight off specific pathogens. By getting vaccinated and encouraging others to do the same, we create a shield of protection, known as herd immunity, that safeguards those who cannot be vaccinated. Hygiene. Simple habits like washing hands regularly with soap and water can drastically reduce the risk of infection. Respiratory etiquette. Covering our mouths and noses when coughing or sneezing can prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Isolation and quarantine. During outbreaks, Isolating infected individuals and quarantining those exposed can prevent further transmission. Thank you for joining us on this scientific escapade. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and embrace the inspiring world of science. Now it's time to play a game. Are you ready? What are infectious diseases caused by? Bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. Chemical imbalances. Genetic mutations.
If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. What is the term for unexpected events or changes that cause significant disturbances in various aspects of life? Disorders Diseases Disruptions If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. An outbreak of an infectious disease that affects a larger number of people than expected in a specific geographic area is called Pandemic Epidemic Endemic If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. Which infectious disease caused a major disruption and severe respiratory illness outbreak in the early 2000s? COVID-19 Influenza SARS If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. What is the primary mode of transmission for respiratory diseases like COVID-19? Direct contact with infected individuals. Airborne transmission through respiratory droplets. Contaminated surfaces.
If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. Which of the following is one of the most effective ways to prevent infectious diseases? Regular hand washing. Avoiding vaccines. Sharing personal items with others. If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. Which term describes the global outbreak of an infectious disease affecting people on multiple continents? Epidemic Pandemic Outbreak If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. What is the term for tiny droplets produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks, which can spread respiratory diseases? Micro droplets, aerosols, respiratory droplets. If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. Which of the following is not a prevention strategy for infectious diseases? Vaccination Regular hand washing. Sharing personal items with others.
If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. Which type of transmission involves pathogen transfer through mosquitoes or ticks? Direct contact Airborne transmission Vectorborne transmission If this was your answer, then congratulations you did great. As we conclude our journey into the world of infectious diseases, let's remember that knowledge is power. By understanding how these diseases spread and embracing prevention, we can protect ourselves and our communities. Remember to stay informed, Stay safe, and join us next time for more exciting explorations. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.